Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's try to look at couple of examples related to application of derivatives where we are treat we are looking into examples derivative is nothing but slope of a tangent to the curve at a particular point. So we are doing all these examples based on that slope is nothing but equal to derivative. Derivative is nothing but slope of the tangent to a curve. So let's look at this simple example. Find the slope of the tangent to the curve y equal to x minus 1 by x minus 2 at x equal to 10. So we have to find out the slope of the tangent to the curve. We know that slope of the tangent to the curve is nothing but equal to dy by dx. So let's first find out what is dy by dx. For that we will start with y equal to x minus 1 divided by x minus 2 which I can write it as x minus 2 plus 1 divided by x minus 2 which can be written as 1 plus 1 by x minus 2. So what is the advantage of this? The advantage is we have earlier quotient rule we have to apply u by v formula now we have made it simple. Now what is dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to derivative of 1 that is nothing but let us say d by dx of 1 plus d by dx of 1 by x minus 2 which is equal to derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of 1 by x minus 2 is minus of 1 by x minus 2 whole square because it is in the form of x to the power of n formula where the derivative is n x to the power of n minus 1. So this is the derivative of x to the power of n is equal to n into x to the power of n minus 1. Now we are interested where x equal to 10. So let's find it out. We will say dy by dx at x equal to 10 is equal to minus of 1 divided by x is 10. 10 minus 2 whole square that is equal to minus of 1 divided by 64. So that is how we can find out the slope of tangent to the curve. So understand that whenever we have we know the function y we if you are able to find out the dy by dx at a particular point it is nothing but equal to slope of the tangent to the curve at that particular point. Let us try to do one more example. We have to find out the slope of tangent to the curve y equal to x cube minus x plus 1 y equal to x cube minus x plus 1 at the point whose x coordinate is 2. So we know that x coordinate is 2. So first let us try it. We know that slope of the tangent to the curve is nothing but equal to dy by dx. So let us find out what is dy by dx dy by dx is equal to we know y equal to x cube minus x plus 1 so dy by dx is d by dx of x cube minus d by dx of x plus d by dx of 1 dy by dx of x cube is 3x square you are aware of that d by dx of x is 1 and d by dx of 1 is 0 so we have 3x square minus 1. But we are interested to find out the slope at the point where the x coordinate is equal to 2. So we are interested at x equal to 2. That gives me 3 into 2 square minus 1. That is equal to 12 minus 1 which is equal to 11. So the slope of the tangent to the curve y equal to x cube minus x plus 1 at a point whose x coordinate is 2 is 3x square minus 1 where x equal to 2 we get 11. So now we have looked into two examples where we have found out slope of tangent to the curve. Now suppose you have to find out slope of the normal to the curve at a particular point. How will we solve that? So let us have a look at that, that example. Find the slope of the normal to the curve x equal to 1 minus a sin theta y equal to b cos square theta b cos square theta at theta equal to pi by 2. 
so we have to find out what is the slope of the normal to the curve now before just proceeding with the problem let's understand what's the relation between the slope of the normal to the curve and slope of the tangent to the curve slope of the tangent to the curve and slope of the normal to the curve are always perpendicular let us say suppose i have a curve like that and we are interested to find out the tangent at a particular point so that is the equation of the tangent then the equation of the normal at that particular point will be exactly at 90 degrees angles they will be exactly at 90 degrees angle so we know that slope of the tangent to the curve is dy by dx so if slope of the tangent to the curve is dy by dx then slope of normal slope of tangent then slope of normal is equal to we know that if two equation two straight lines are at 90 degrees angles then the product of their slopes is always equal to negative 1 so slope of normal will be nothing but equal to minus of 1 by dy by dx that will be the slope of the normal so let's leverage this and try to find out what's the value of slope of the normal so we we know x equal to 1 minus a sin theta y equal to b cos square theta so to start let's find out what is dy by dx then we'll find out what is the slope of the normal so i will say dy first we'll find out what is dy by d theta dy by d theta y is b cos square theta y equal to b cos square theta so dy by d theta is equal to b into cos square theta is 2 cos theta multiply with minus of sin theta because cos theta derivative is minus sin theta similarly i try to find out what is dx by d theta x is a minus 1 minus a sin theta so dx is equal to minus a cos theta minus a cos theta which gives me dy by dx is equal to dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta dy by d theta is 2b cos theta minus sin theta divided by dx by d theta is minus a cos theta so we can cancel cos and cos and minus and minus so we have 2b by a into sin theta sin theta we are interested in at theta equal to pi by 2 so let me continue that 2b by a into sin theta so slope of the tangent is 2b by a sin theta then what will be slope of normal slope of normal is equal to minus of 1 by dy by dx that is 2b by a sin theta or can i write it as minus of a by 2b into sin theta if we take theta equal to pi by 2 because that is where we are interested then slope of normal at theta equal to pi by 2 is equal to slope of normal at theta equal to pi by 2 equal to minus a by 2b into sin 90 equal to 1 so the answer is minus a by 2b let us have a look at this again we know that slope of tangent to the curve at a particular point is equal to derivative of the curve or derivative of the function at that particular specific point so dy by dx is equal to slope of the tangent then slope of the normal which is perpendicular to slope of the normal line which is perpendicular to the tangent because we know tangent and normal are 
always at 90 degrees angle. So, and we also know two lines which are at perpendicular to each other, then their product of slope should be minus 1. Slope of normal then is minus 1 by dy by dx. We got dy by dx equal to 2b by a sin theta. So, slope of normal equal to minus a by 2b into sin theta. We are interested at theta equal to pi by 2. So, the answer will be minus of a by 2b. We will continue with this problems on applications of derivatives related to derivative as measure of slope of a tangent to the curve at a specific point. I will catch you again in the next session. Thanks for your time.